All right, greetings everyone. So I'm gonna do a quick video, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, my unboxing of the Showgirls 4K from Vinegar Syndrome. I had gotten this a while ago, um, but it had some recall issues to it, which I actually got the recalls last week, so I'm finally gonna do this cool unboxing. So, this is the uh, 4K um, special edition of Showgirls. I got this because I worked on this movie. Uh, I think I'm in it somewhere uh, in a scene with Robert Davi. I actually have a picture somewhere of me and Robert Davi. Um, packaging is really nice. I just kind of wanted to show that off, like the neon sign. Um, this movie is notorious for being so bad or so bad it's good. There was a documentary made about it called my name is nomi i believe it's called there's the back and the spine and this is what number is this vinegar sorry uh vsu 06 this is number six of vsu i don't think i've gotten every vsu but i did get beastmaster and six string samurai Actually, I don't know if I got the special box for uh, Beastmaster. All right, so you got your ribbon here. And, you know, you, you pull that. Well, actually, you flip it. There's a magnet in there that I'll show you guys that catches. It's a little catch magnet, which is nice on the packaging here. So we open this up. We have different artwork. For showgirls like the little little ads you see in those newspapers it's kind of cool um, private dancers dances girls 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 all right now this little baby out and there is <sighs> the slip cover the front and the back of the slip cover I do not know who the artist is that did this this is of course from the same director that did um, Robocop. It's an MGM movie. So. I think this was like $45, if I remember correctly. And that's uh, the original artwork, the original movie poster. And so my understanding is the uh, audio on these discs is messed up. So Vinegar Syndrome had to send out replacement discs. And there's a book. And here's that artwork on the inside there. A Private Dance by James Smith, The Crave Club Saturday. I believe that is Glenn Plummer, who's in the movie. And so the book had to re be replaced. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. So this is like an essay and breakdown of the movie. Again, I worked on this movie. I think I worked on it for like a week or two. And yeah, I, I was in the uh, gentleman club scenes where I believe uh, Elizabeth Berkeley was naked. Not just Elizabeth, but there was some other, other women. Um, I made friends with one of them. I can't remember her name, but 
She actually starred in um, Showgirls 2. I don't know if anybody... If Showgirls 1 was the worst movie ever made, it actually got a sequel. And I haven't seen it. Um, but there is, in fact, a Showgirls 2. Believe it or not. Uh, her name was Rena. I think she starred in it with Glenn Plummer, who was... They're both in the original. Um, but Rena and I got friendly while we were making Showgirls. Really nice woman. Um... We didn't stay in touch, though. We probably could have. Um, let me see if she's even mentioned here. Uh, Elizabeth Berkeley, Kyle McLaughlin, Gina Gershon, Glenn Plummer, Robert Davi, Alan Rackins, Gina Rivera. Eh. Paul Verhoeven, Verhoeven uh, also did um, Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone. So this is the book. But somehow there's a, a misprint in the book, and I believe what I've heard is it's the writers. Now, the, the trick here is... <laughs> as dumb as this sounds, I understand the mistake. So here's the replacement stuff. Okay. Replacement book. And people get confused and can't tell which book is the replacement book. Oh, I could see a difference. Um, the replacement book's way better, actually. Uh, except for mine's got some slight damage to it. I don't know if you could see that. There's a wrinkle. It was sent in this flat, flat envelope. Uh, but people get confused about which is the replacement and which is the uh, recall. And supposedly, I was supposed to get two replacement discs for the Blu-ray and the 4K. And there is two discs here. Now, I've been seeing people sell their copies, uh, the recalled copies on eBay, which I might do. Should have had some scissors to open this. Just bear with me here. I'll get it. There it is. And so, man, they should have sent some replacement wrappers so you could actually open it. All right. Jeez, vinegar syndrome. This is by far the hardest. 4K I've ever had to open. Okay, now. All right, so there we go. Well, hold on. So presumably that'll replace that. Okay, so the 4K disc gets replaced. So let's do this in a smart way. I just crushed my, my thing there. Okay. Original recall disc, out. New and improved replacement disc, in. Again, it's the audio. Something to do with, I don't know, the stereo 2.0. I actually have no idea uh, why these were recalled. Okay. Original recall disc out. New and improved replacement disc in.
Okay. So there's that. Done. Okay. Now, we can admire the art on the discs. So I guess this is the Blu-ray. I don't actually know what kind of special features this has. Let's take a peek here. Let's see. Okay, 4K disc replaced. Uh, disc Blu-ray disc number one replaced. Contains everything. Uh, 4K, great. Blu-ray disc number two contains the following additional more Vegas than Vegas I don't know it's really hard to read um, this is a hard movie to sit through I did sit through the documentary recently because I was trying to see if I could see myself in the documentary but uh yeah. All I have is that picture of me and Robert Davi, unless I can find myself in, in here. But the cuts are so fast, you know. Who knows? All right. So putting it back. Anyway, this is a nice set, nice collectible. Uh, I probably would not have gotten this if I wasn't actually in the movie if I didn't work on this movie so that's my main reason for getting it um, is this is like a personal thing there was a group of us that worked on it together and it was a lot of fun you know we, we hung out for a few days um, I guess like maybe two or three weeks I don't think there's really much to say about this. I, I can't remember if we were filming this at Paramount Studios or over by, um, what do you call it? Sunset Gower. I honestly can't remember, but it was, uh, I want to say Paramount. Um, nothing profound. I mean, it was odd. It was an odd experience because... The girl from Saved by the Bell was doing stripper pole dances and we had no idea what the hell was going on. Um, those of us that were there for it, you know, we were just getting paid and we were happy to have work and, you know, it was fun. We were like just hanging out together. Um, a lot of TNA and it had that smell of a strip club. I remember that and um, that, that that women, that womanly smell. Um, but I remember everybody, everybody being really respectful. I was too. So like the girls, after they would dance between scenes or takes, they would just come up and start talking or, you know, smoke a cigarette because you were allowed to smoke in the scenes. Actually, I think they even paid you extra for smoking. Um, you know, cause Vegas back then. And, um, so it's perfectly normal while filming this to just be hanging out with completely naked chicks, naked women, you know, smoking a cigarette, talking about, you know, whatever work, you know, how your day's going, how dinner was, um, plans for the weekend, that sort of thing. And, uh, and then get back into it. And I don't think anybody was being disrespectful. There may have been like, one or two weird guys. Actually, now that I remember, I think I could be wrong about this, but I want to say Dennis Woodruff worked on this movie, if I remember correctly. I do remember Dennis Woodruff, and those of you who don't know, Dennis Woodruff is like a Hollywood icon like Angeline, and he drives around with these cars and these big giant heads on his cars, um, telling everyone to hire him. He's an actor, and so he's a character. I've talked to him a couple of times. He's a little out there. Harmless, but out there. Um, I kind of remember him working on this movie, actually. And separately, 
I remember somebody being kicked off of the movie. There was like one or two guys that um, were problematic for the naked actresses and dancers and made them uncomfortable. And it may or may not have been the guy I just mentioned. I honestly can't remember. I kind of remember and I don't want to say because I don't want to be wrong. So, you know, bear that in mind. Uh, but that's my recollection of it. I'm sure somebody somewhere remembers. I do remember that being a thing though and like we had to shut down and people were being asked to leave and there was like a scene that was created. Um, meaning like an incident around it. And I kind of remember um, from the movie, it was a good experience overall, but yeah, there was, uh, it was just a fun kind of time. Look, I already got my fingerprints all over it. That's great. I got to buff that out. Hope I can buff that out. Jeez. Well, anyway, so yeah, Showgirls, so I'm probably going to take a peek at this and see if I can see myself in it. Anyway, thank you for watching my unboxing video. Uh, I'm going to throw these up on the YouTube channel for anyone that wants them. I've heard that the reasons for the recall on these is really not that bad. Like, most people didn't even notice it, so if you're interested... You know, I'll put these up for like five bucks. You can get the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the book, which has the misprint in it, whatever that is. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching my video and um, listening to me rant or my recollections of Showgirls. I hope that uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.